Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today, we are going to be messing with the expanded tier. Last time you guys saw that Mars Shadow Box uh, video, that was a lot of fun to record, although it was more like the Jolteon choke. Though, definitely check it out, though. I do uh, also go read the comments. Me and Takken were talking about stuff that I feel like could make the deck better. Um, but regardless, I don't know why I went to Mars Shadow. I'm just saying Mars Shadow, and I just went to Mars Shadow. Um, but today you're going to be messing with the expanded tier and a tier that I'm not, I'm not the most experienced in, but I really wanted to play this deck. I've never played primal ground on before, but I believe it has a lot of potential even without tropical beach. So this is going to be a build with no tropical beach. Brooklyn Hill, I feel like makes it very strong. Before we get into that, thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting the content recently and huge shout out to everybody that bought, that bought the mat. If you guys do not know, I have a mat for sale right now. Let me go ahead and turn on the face cam real quick so you guys can see. Hey, what's up? We got the mats for sale right here. Mm, they look good. They look good. They look good. Uh, we got them for sale right now, so go ahead and check that out. Hit me up on Discord or Twitter information. Whatever. You guys know how it is. Hit me up with the information if you guys want to get a chance to buy one. They're going out real fast, which I'm really excited about. Um, we're playing Primal Groudon today. I've never played a Primal Groudon deck before. I've always... Well, I've tried to play it in Standard before, but that didn't go very well. So I don't... I, so, like... I don't really count that. The Primal Ground has always been a really good deck and expanded because it had things like Tropical Beach to help it out. But now we have Brooklyn Hill as a card, which I feel like also helps Primal Ground on play a little bit faster than before. So I'm very excited about trying this deck today. Just trying this deck today, yeah. So we got Primal Ground on the EX, our Mecha Evolution Pokemon. A 240 HP fighting type Pokemon weak to grass. So we have a pretty poor Vesquin matchup, but a lot of other decks, like the Sidewise, not a big deal anymore since, uh, you know, Forest rotated. So I'm not too worried about that. It has the attack, or oh, has the, I think, Delta Barrier is what it's called. Uh, whenever your opponent plays a trainer card, excluding Pokemon Tool and Stadium cards, prevent all effects of this card done to this Pokemon. So what that means is, specifically for Primal Ground, is that it can't be guzma out, and it can't be targeted to get rid of its tools. So you're going to see how we're going to abuse that later in this game, uh, later in this, in this deck profile, I guess. But Gaia Volcano for four energies does 100 damage plus 100 more damage if there's a stadium card in play, then you discard the stadium. It's a very powerful attack, but four energies is a lot, so you'll see how we can uh, play the slow game until we can charge up uh, a Groudon and then go from there. Uh, this is a very full deck, and mainly because of my favorite card before rotation in 2016, I believe that was this, was Karina. Search your deck for a fighting type Pokemon and an item card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. It's a very, very, very powerful support card for fighting. Being able to put any fighting type card and an item card of your, cho of your choice into your hand is very strong. So we are playing a three count of Karina and a bunch of one of items that I feel like could help us in different situations. Uh, but let's go over the Pokemon first. I am playing one Mr. Mime to prevent bench damage. Bench damage could be a problem, especially after since you do plan on retreating your weakened Groudons or healing them up so that you can heal them up later in the game. So I am playing one Mr. Mime to prevent things like that. One Carbink and Carbink Break just to accelerate Groudon, uh, ac accelerate Groudons later in the game. Uh, Diamond Gifts is very good, being able to put two energies from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon for 20 damage, all for one energy. Sorry, I had a quick sneeze there. I'm glad I'm catching the mic, the, the mute on time, though. I don't want you guys to hear me sneezing. <laughs> Plus, we got Safeguard here. Uh, wins a couple matchups here and there. So it's very powerful being able to block your opponent's EX attackers. A 3-3 line of Groudon, EX, and Primal Groudon. Groudon's interesting as well because we can use um, our Stadium Shrine of Memories to be able to use his previous attacks. Ripclaw being able to discard uh, energy from your opponent's Pokemon if you flip heads. And then Massive Rend is 130 damage. So if you don't really need to do that extra 1 million damage with Gaia, then you can just use Ripclaw. Same energy cost, but does 130. And we have strong energies to increase the damage output as well. One Lele just to get a supporter. Energy Drive is strong. Topic Cure is strong. Wonder Tab is strong. And we do want to use Topic Cure this matchup. I am playing a 1 Psychic Energy for both for both Tabu Lele and for Wobbuffet over here. Wobbuffet not only will block abilities with Barricade, being able to block the abilities of all non-Psychic type Pokemon, uh, from each player but also psychic assault is pretty strong uh, because if we weaken them with the Groudon we can always finish them off with a Wobbuffet because psychic assault does 10 damage for each damage counter your opponent's active Pokemon it's something we're going to be using often I'd rather use a uh, Tapu Kier 
because we do want to prevent being knocked out on these Pokemon. But you know, Psychic Assault is also an option. As far as items go, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go over all the items, including tools, because these are going to be all supported with Karina. We have a one battle compressor, one computer search, one enhanced hammer. Enhanced hammer is just strong in general. A one escape rope, two mega turbos just to increase our speed. One professor letter to make sure we can always have uh, energies in our hands so we don't miss an attachment. And one super rod with, of course, our four BS seekers. And as far as the tools go, I'm wearing, I'm rocking four different tools. One, one, one of of each, one assault vest. Uh, just because if we're fighting against the right matchup, we can tank hits for days with Assault Vest. One Float Stone for free retreat. Uh, one Focus Sash. We are a fighting type Pokemon, so it's for the Vespican matchup more than anything. Being able to prevent being knocked out for a turn is really nice. And one Wishful Baton. Wishful Baton is very, very interesting in Groudon. Because you can move your basic energy cards from your from the Groudon that you do plan on letting being knocked out to another Groudon on your bench. And they can't Field Blower this away, they can't Zerosic this away, they can't Starling Megaphone this away. It's stuck on your Groudon because they have no way to turn off the traits in Pokemon. So that's really cool. And as far as the stadiums go, we are playing four Brooklyn Hills to get out your Carbinks and Groudons uh, early game without the need for playing Ultra Ball. That's why you don't see any Ultra Ball in this deck. You actually do not play, you actually do not need Ultra Ball in this deck, which is really, really cool. Uh, Ultra Ball would only be nice for getting you Lele, um, Wobbuffet, and Mr. Mime. So I'm opting to not play Ultra Ball just because we have a lot of support as far as getting Pokemon out. And very rarely do you want to discard cards, except for like, I guess, supporters in this deck. And most Primal Ground on this opt to not play the Ultra Ball. So we're going to go with that. We have two Parallel Cities just because it's a powerful stadium. And one Shrine of Memories for us to use our previous attacks if need be. As far as supporters, we're playing two Guzmas that helps us around Item Lock which is why I'm playing it. One Hex Maniac for the same reason. Three Karinas, because it's powerful, I believe. Um, three Ends, one Pokemon Center Lady, and three Sycamores. I know if, if our, I know if our energy matchup lineup, we have four Strong Energies, six Fighting Energies, and one Psychic Energies. Energy, that's gonna be the deck though, guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of games. I wanna see how this deck runs. Um, I've taken inspirations from all sorts of different uh, Groudon list I've seen in the past. I just kind of, because I, I don't have much experience playing Groudon, so I didn't know how to go about building it. So I just looked up a bunch of different videos, like all sorts of different videos on Groudon. And after seeing how they worked, this is what I came up with. Uh, if we're playing against... Hmm. If I remember correctly, if it's Greninja, they can't actually Water Shuriken us, I think. I think that's how that works, right? Oh, and we led with Wobbuffet, which is also very strong. And we have Karina as well, which is also very strong. So we got a bunch of really good cards going on right here. Right here. So very happy with this opening hand. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, it is Greninja. I think Primal Groudon can't be targeted by Giant Water Shuriken, which is very nice for us, because if we get two strong energies attached, we actually have a really good start. I'm going to go ahead and Karina first, get ourselves a Groudon, and let's see what item card I want. I could also go for Brooklet, empty the hand a little bit. Uh, e hammer might be good later down the road. Um, I think for now I'm just gonna get. I'm just going to go for the battle compressor play. Put some supporters in discard pile. We're probably not gonna need, or at least not right away. Then again, I don't know if I want to make that play either, because I kind of want to draw into all these. Um, because we're gonna probably play Sycamore next turn, right? So the only thing I could see myself putting in discard pile is Hex. Guzma, and I guess Center Lady, so I guess it's worth doing just to thin out the deck a little bit. I'm um, just taking a look through my deck right now to see what's prized and what isn't prized. We have our Carbinks, and we have our Energies. We'll be alright. We will be okay. Now uh, we can do this. We can compress, and just toss away. The supporters I was just talking about. I don't know why I was like thinking about that play. Guzma, Hex, and Lady. Boom. Lady's gonna be helpful too because we can take hits for a longer time. And I'll just pass here. You'll be able to water duplicates very, very uh, convincingly. But I, I didn't ch double check Primal Ground on. But he, oh, he has two prize or a bunch in his hand, one or the other. I'm actually going to attach this here and try to Mega Evolve this turn. Uh, for now, I'm just going to Sycamore, I think. Ah, but N seems like a good play, right? 
because I get to preserve these cards. I'll stick more though. I want to preserve Mega Turbo, but I don't think it's super necessary. We got Brooklyn. I did manage to whiff a little bit here, which sucks. I was hoping to get Primal Grout on this turn, but we'll be all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going, going to do this instead. Hopefully he doesn't have Field Blower, because I don't want to lose my thing here. But overall, we should be okay. Now I'm just going to pass. Yeah, we'll pass for now. We have Karina, so we can get Primal Grout on. I didn't get an attachment for the turn, though, which is the only thing that like I'm not very happy about. But we can get Primal Groudon and the... Uh, what's it called? Um, Primal Groudon and the, the, the male to get us energies so that I can get an attachment for the turn. So he can attack us, but that's not a big deal. We can't use abilities right now. We have two Wobbuffets. We'll be alright as far as that goes. And... Uh, once we get out of Primal Ground on, he won't be able to do his things. But we're gonna go ahead and make the Karina play. Uh, we don't have to play terribly fast. I'm not in a big, I'm not in a big hurry or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get Karina out here. Get Primal Ground on and the letter. And then hopefully we're not stuck after that, because that's gonna be the awkward part, is probably being stuck. Um Is the letter prize? Okay, it's not dope. Do this. Two. I might even increase the Karina count to four, to be honest. And I think with this, I'm just going to play you down. I guess as long as we're preventing... As long as we're preventing abilities, I can play down Carbink. We'll just do this and pass the turn. So I believe it's with ability. When your opponent plays a trainer card... Oh, no, we can be... Oh, never mind. For some reason, I thought it was the uh, the one that Delta... Um, what's it called? Not Delta. I keep playing Insurgents. The one that the Mega, Sizz Mega Sceptile has. Master Ball, what's that do? It just gives him any Pokemon? Seems like a weird card to play, but it's not bad. Let's see. Whenever your opponent plays a trainer card, uh, prevent all effects of that card. So he can't Lysander us out. So maybe it was not a smart play to play the Carbink. Because the only thing he could Lysander out were uh, Wobbuffet and this one. Or Guzma, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Maybe he wasn't the best play. Because now he can actually damage my uh, Groudon. Hopefully I get another Primal Groudon over here on this one. If I can top deck like a Seeker or another Karina, that'd be pretty nice. We'll see what we can top deck here. All right, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Go on to the other Wobbuffet, prevent abilities for a little bit. Play down the other one as well. And nice, 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 nice. Now the question is, do I want to play Sycamore this turn? I think I do want to play Sycamore this turn. Uh, we'll do this. I'm going to play Sycamore. Um, manually attach for the turn. I will play Sycamore here because I need to be able to draw. I need to be able to get something. Uh, we already have one Groudon down, so I don't actually necessarily have to play Greninja. But Sycamore can get us some stuff that I might want, like our other Primal Groudon and our Enhanced Hammer. So I'm not going to go ahead and use that Enhanced Hammer now. Uh, this is going to be really, really good as well, so I'm actually going to play it now. Um, I want to bench him a little bit. Force him to get rid of that Froki. And I can actually get an Energy with this next turn before I play Sycamore and play Super Rod as well. But for now, I am going to go ahead and do this. So now we have two Groudons ready. He can't get rid of our stadiums. He can't Lysander us. Uh, so now we're in a really good position here. With uh, Although I do, it does suck that I don't have two strong energies. Um, I don't really need them. He's going to play Rough Seas, though. That's fine. We'll just keep discarding stadiums. We'll get Okos as long as we have stadiums. I can't wait for Lucimine to be a thing in this deck to get our stadiums back as well. That's going to be pretty dope. We still have plenty of stadiums in the deck. I think we've lost three, and there's like, what, four... There's like seven, so we should have four stadiums left in this deck. And then he has his own stadiums he's playing. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play Sycamore. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. I do want an energy, though. If I could top take an energy, that'd just be better. 
But I also want like floatstone. There's a lot I want here. Plays random receiver to get Birch. Okay, well this matchup just became like from a really cool matchup to a really lame matchup. Why is he playing Birch? I thought Master Ball was just like an interesting Tekken Greninja, but like, ugh. random receiver Birch, man. Good tails. Oh no, Bir Birch players don't deserve to get heads. Come on, nobody plays Birch. <clears throat> uh, there's another Primal Groudon. Not something necessary right now. Uh, do I need energies back in the deck? I mean, I still have Carbink down there. I guess I can get, like, strong energy into an N. I don't know. I guess I'll play Sycamore. Ugh, I don't want to play Sycamore. But we might as well. Good strong energy. We only have one seeker left. Because we have our three basics that we needed. So if he does get a knockout, we'll just move them all to the other ground on. We can do this, put this one card back. Uh, actually, we can't. We can do this, this, and this. Sure. And we'll stick them all here. Hopefully, we get a float stone or an escape rope. We didn't. We did get carving brick, though. So that's pretty handy. But other than that, we didn't really get anything worth playing, so. We do have another Wobbuffet, which is pretty handy. We have a Lele to get us a support if we need it. So we're, we're good for now. So the setup was pretty decent in this deck for sure. Uh, I have Focus Sash on Carbink too, although that's probably not gonna help us. I just had to put it down on something. But like, it doesn't help any of our Pokemon, really. Maybe I should, shouldn't have attached it. I was Floatstone, and... Ooh, hello, computer. Thank you for making noise. Mm, he's playing smart. My, I might have to just Guzma. So I want to knock out a break. I think I'm going to play Guzma. There is another one in the deck. I know there was. So I guess I'll play Guzma here. Mm, I really want to play N. I really want to play N. Okay, come on. Looks like somebody just subscribed, so shout out to whoever subscribed just now. Unless I'm streaming? No, I'm recording right now. Okay. I can't. I, I can. Why does it have this? Oh, he's shadow stitched. Oh, crap. I'll play N then. I think I messed up. Should have attached as well. I messed up. I'm on. I'm on tilt. I was paying attention. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's fine, we got flow stone. Um, 60, 120 into a 110 is still not a knockout. And we can top Ulele for energy drive. And then even whenever he does knock me out, we have energy baton. So I'm just going to go ahead and start getting knockouts now. We'll go ahead and Gaia Volcano. So we get all the prizes and Sycamore. That's not what I want right now. Still haven't attached for the turn yet. I should I should be attaching for the turn. So here's what I can do. I can Guzma and then Tapu Kira with Lele if I need to. I need a stadium as well. Lusamine, where are you at, girl? I need you. I can Hex. I can Center Lady. I have a, different, a couple different plays I can make here. I did Enum though, so maybe he left a bunch of energies. That'd be ideal. There's a giant water shuriken onto the... Okay, that's fine. Energy retrieval to get two more. So he can actually... He won't be able to knock me out. Because even if he does have choice bend, it's not a knockout. But he'll be able to do some damage. The thing is, though, does Baton work whenever I... Uh... Oh, it has to be from an attack. That's awkward. The Baton actually does... Oh, man. I didn't even think about that. It has to be from an attack. So if he does do it from giant water shuriken... It's not gonna help us help out help out as much. So this matchup is just pretty poor in general. So maybe it's worth playing a Giratina promo in this deck. I think I think I might have to look into playing a Giratina promo in this deck. Uh we'll play you down. And is this the turn I play Guzma? Bring out a Froki. Force him to play too many energies. And top of here. I think this is the turn I do that. So I don't want this being knocked out. 
Let's get Guzma out right now. Yes. Um, there's no more Guzmas. Crap. Oh, it doesn't matter. I still have Secret to play the Guzma, so I'll be alright. We'll go ahead and do this. And we'll top up here. That's a one retreat cost. We can just manually retreat that. We can start attaching fighting energies to the grout on the bench. Mm, but we might be in trouble now. And we're closer to decking out than my opponent is. So this is not going to be looking good for me. We lost all of our Seekers. Uh, two, three, four. We have three more stadiums up in the deck somewhere. So we can still get our big knockouts if we need to. Alright, so here comes Greninja. We can knock out Greninja. He doesn't have anything else set up on the bench. So having just one Greninja is fine. The only thing that sucks is I don't have any way to... Re uh, I don't have any more recursion. So, and I still have plenty of strong energies in the deck. Like, we had all four strong energies in the deck. I'm just not drawing into them. Um, 60. Trainer's Mail. Just don't get any more Frogadiers and we'll be alright. I just, I just need to prevent him from, like, putting out too many things. Does he, uh, does he even have Frogadiers in the deck? Maybe I, maybe he got, he got them off the prizes. Okay, cool. This actually works out very well for me. Uh, Karina, I hate that I have to waste you. But I gotta waste you. Oh, I don't want to waste you, though. So I don't know if I'm gonna have enough turns to win this game. But Karina can't get me a stadium card, right? Because these aren't items, they're stadiums. These are items. Mm, I need to get my strong energies. I need to get a lot of stuff here. I don't know how I'm gonna win this game. I'm gonna have to bank on playing an N. Luckily, we got one. Um... All right, cool. So we'll go ahead and get our knockout here. And we'll play down Brooklet. Use the stadium just to get a knockout. We have plenty of energies to charge up the other Groudon on the bench. So we'll Gaia Volcano here for knockout. He won't be able to knock us out without get without activating the Baton Pass, I think. So we should be okay. And a Mega Turbo, super clutch as well. So we might still have this game in the bag. Especially if he doesn't have the Froggy Deer, which it doesn't look like he, he does. Um, Dive Ball gets him. I don't know why he's playing these cards. Is he just shuff I guess he's just emptying his hand. He, does he not have any like rescue stretchers or anything like that? I guess not. I guess he's staying out of his hand pre pre to prevent the end from like losing him the game or something like that. But we'll get another knockout here, which is great. And he's going to end me, which is also fine. As long as I get like my stadium. I need to get my stadium, actually. So maybe it's not the greatest thing ever. How many energies are down here? Okay, we got the stadium, and we got the end, and we got the Mega Turbo, and we got an energy. So overall, it's not bad at all. And we'll get another knockout here. I don't know how I clutch this game out. My opponent definitely played this game pretty poorly. But like, hey, we, we take those. Plus, you played Birch. So, you know, you know how it is in this channel, right? Players that people that play Birch don't win don't win they just don't they just don't win so that was pretty smart on his part um so i have to knock out the bubble mon now which is awkward for me and there's no real point in me preserving this groudon but i will do this and do this so we, it takes it's also one colorless as well i'll preserve everything else in my hand i'll just go ahead and gaia volcano for knockout here like, oh, it's just frustrating that he got that special energy there. And I top deck a Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime doesn't actually do anything, so that's whatever. Giant Water Shirk in here. And if he attacks me, I get to move my energies. So I can actually move them to what, Lele or something? He's just gonna... Oh, it's so frustrating. Like, he's, it, he's playing well, don't get me wrong. It's just frustrating. Please don't get heads. Thank you. We don't want to give you a courtesy. I'll do this. And yeah, I'll just keep attacking. His two prizes won't win him the game. He doesn't have any more Frokies down. I get the Oko because I have my stadiums. And Karina is here as well. I don't know what Karina does for me, but it's there. So there's that benefit. 
Also, let me guys know if you guys like the audio, like as far as like my voice and everything like that. I've been doing a lot of like testing as far as making my audio sound better. Because as you guys know, I'm having some, uh, having a little bit of issues. We'll go into this. Just in case it gets like a Pokemon down right now. I've been having a little bit of issues as far as uh, making the audio sound good with my mic since my mic is on the fritz right now. And people have sent me some information. I'm probably I'm probably gonna get one of those like box thingies that people keep talking about. But the time being, I've been doing some really some doing some hardcore editing. This man keeps getting heads. Man, you might as well play Birch if it's always gonna get you heads. My God. Um, but what was I saying? Uh, I, yeah, I've done a lot of editing with the audio, so it should sound really good, like really clean and no. St oh, he does play Rescue Stretcher. Oh, he's gonna drag this game out even longer. <laughs> My God, come on, dude. I'm probably going to end him down to two because it's getting a little bit annoying. But I don't want to end him down to two because I have a stadium down. I want to keep my stadium in my hand. If he got Choice Band and Guzma, he could win. Oh, he's going to choose to just attack me. Oh, so that was... He just messed up then. I guess he gets the Frogadier back, but I still win. And I guess now I can end him. Dope. I got a volcano, and now I'm doing too much damage. So even if he even if he becomes a uh, Greninja, even if he becomes like a Greninja through rare candy, I still get the knockout. There's my Guzma. So now even if he does Guzma out one of my Pokemon, I have my own Guzma to win the game. So we're good as long as he doesn't like somehow like. Rare Candy, Greninja, Wally, and uh, also have the ability to play Guzma as well. <laughs> or he plays Pokemon Catcher and gets heads. Or Counter Catcher. Bubble, oof. Uh, but once again, we have Guzma, so we win. Um, well played. We'll go ahead and do this. And that is game one. So, I don't know how I feel about that matchup. Definitely, definitely was playing a weird variant of Greninja, but we're going to move on. We'll play another game. Hopefully, these, this video isn't like an hour, because I got to do some stuff today. And also, I don't know if this video is coming out directly after the Marshadow video, or if my live deck matchup came up first, because I did play a uh, live Ninetales versus Gardevoir, uh, versus, me, and my, versus my, me versus my brother. We both have pretty similar experiences as far as Pokemon goes, so it would have been a, it's a really good matchup. It was a really close matchup too. It took me like three games, but like at that third that third game we both were which I only uploaded one of the games, but that third game was like super intense. <laughs> like we both had amazing starts. And uh it was a fun game. It was very close. Matt the Dark. Who's Matt the Dark? I really like I really like um Primal Groudon, although I still think, I still think Brooklet Hill makes it stronger. Uh, I don't think it's super necessary. Our opening hand's kind of weird, but I, oh, I'll take it. All right, that's fine. Free points are free points. I like free points. Also, I have a question for you guys. Uh, there's a lot of, there, there's like a lot of decks I still have to play on the channel, but there's a lot of times where I just want to revisit decks I've uploaded recently, just so I can give you guys my updated version. Because usually when I play a deck on the channel, it's probably like after a little bit of testing, if any testing at all, I've played it. And uh, I feel like maybe a week or two later, it could be okay to upload it again, just so I can show you guys my progress with the deck. Because it's only going to be decks that I, that I actually practice with and I actually enjoy playing. Uh, for instance, I haven't uploaded Vikabulu yet, but if I were to upload Vikabulu, that, that would be an example. Um, this is a not bad hand. We can get out and grout on this turn. And Karina the following turn into like maybe a Floatstone or something. I don't know. Maybe it broke. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what we draw. I think that matters more. We're playing against Guardi. So, with strong energies, we get knockouts, but we need strong energies. This is actually kind of tough because Gardevoir has too much HP. Probo Groudon does hit for 200, but we need two strong energies to get a knockout. It's going to be a little bit rough. Another card I've been thinking about playing in this deck is uh, is Puzzle of Times, although I don't know how I'd fit them in. 
I probably take out some of these tools that I don't need. Assault Vest is going to be fun this matchup, but overall this matchup is not in our favor. Yeah, I mean, that's a problem with the new meta. Well, not the problem, but like that's the thing about the new meta, is that everything has too much HP. Too much HP. It makes the mirror match hard. <sighs> and it makes this matchup hard. Because <sighs> 230 is just like an awkward number because it's one off of our... Uh, Ooh, Silent Hill is going to be annoying. Um, it's one off of what we want. He did lose one Silent Hill, though. It was good. It's like if he had 220 HP, he could, we can manage because we just need one strong energy. But now we need two. So maybe the the one of tech. What's it called? Would be pretty nice here. Okay, we got a crowd on prize. Mm, we got our things here. We got our Lele. Uh, we have our Mega Turbos, all of our other things there. We have a two Sycamores prize. That's going to be kind of awkward. We have, I think, one energy prize. No, we don't. Hmm. What do I grab with Karina right now? I don't know. Uh, we already have Primal Grout on our hand, so I don't really think we need to play Karina. At least not yet. I don't see anything that we could get with Karina. The only thing I'd want to play for is to put in the discard pile. Uh, Karina can get you an item card. There's no item cards I want to play. I guess I can get Seeker. I don't know. We'll just pass for now. We'll just pass. We got to play a little bit of the slow game for a little bit. I mean, obviously. We can just attach and Mega Shinko, or I guess Primal De Evolution, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have to also go over the over that guys. Can we talk about how I totally called the? Uh, the uh, memory cards. I was just looking at the new the new cards that just got leaked, or I guess technically released or whatever, and for SM4. Guys, I'm gassing up. I, I gassed up Gyarados. And I had good reason. That new magic card is that new magic carp card is broken. Being able to instantly evolve and have the ability to be immune from to bench damage, which is really cool. Like being 30 HP for DC and water, which once again not hard because you're a, and then you can evolve directly into a Gyarados for an attack, bruh. Bruh, Gyarados is strong, man. I'm telling you guys right now, Gyarados is broken. I'm pretty excited to play Gyarados. And, by, and like, people take me too seriously when I say broken and stuff like that. Like, I don't actually mean it's broken. I'm just saying that it's a, it's a, it's a card that shouldn't be slept on. That's all I'm saying. Not a big deal. Nothing crazy. I think I got out a, a, a God of War, which means I definitely want to get down some, um, some Pokemon here soon. Maybe, like, playing a one of... Ultra Ball or two of Ultra Ball would be nice. Just so they when Karina get the Ultra Ball play the to get like a Wobbuffet. Or even a Lele to get us a Draw Supporter. So this might be a matchup that we just kinda lose. There's a lot of experimenting I want to make with this Primal Groudon deck. But this would be an example of a deck that I'm that I'm talking about, right? Because I like Primal Groudon. And um I would want to play it again in the future after I've done more experimenting with it. I don't think it's a tier one deck by any means, but I definitely think it's a fun deck because it's Primal Groudon, right? Like, this is throwback. Infinite Force, 60. That's pretty terrifying. Uh, oh, we got N. Shout out to the top deck. We'll get down another Groudon here. Uh, I, the only thing that sucks is I'm losing my Primal, but that's fine because I got to get stuff because I'm pretty stuck right now. Uh, although, what else do I want? If I were to play Karina right now, what would that do for me? Because I have Primal Ground on the hand, Karina would give me, what, a carving break that doesn't do anything right now. I'm just going to play N, whatever. I need cards. I need stuff. I need things. Give me cards, stuff, and things. Uh, E-Hammer is going to be useful later. Wishful Baton is going to be pretty useful as well. So is Guzma. Um, I didn't get any Wobs. I will compress her now, though. Get some. Get rid of some of these cards. What are in my discard? What is in my discard pile? Just an N, so Sycamore would be nice down there. Our supporters go. We can get rid of a. What do I have in my hand? Karina, Guzma, Pokemon Center Lady. What a hand. 
uh, Sycamore. Because I have all my Seekers, so that's not a big deal. Sycamore. Yuzma, maybe? I don't know. There's nothing else I really want to put down here. Yeah. I can put down energy just from Mega Turbo. So I'm going to Karina, right? So if I can get a manual attachment, that could be pretty nice. We'll do that. Seek more than two energies just for p potential things like that. I whiffed my manual attachment for the turn, which kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? Karina gets me an energy card. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But Karina gets me an energy through uh, Professor's Letter. This is why I like Professor's Letter and Karina decks. You know, field blower to my stadium, which is whatever. I don't really need it anymore, except for the fact that I want to do big damage with it. I need my strong energies. <laughs> I don't know what to do. He's going to do big damage. He's not even playing any DCEs for me to abuse. Why is he doing that? Just to draw more? What does he need to draw right now that that was, that, that was so important? I'm definitely going to Guzma up that uh, Octillery and hopefully he doesn't get a Guzma of his own. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. My god, this man is getting a perfect can. I'm gonna check on my Discord. This man is this man is just like check getting a perfect, perfect game. People are just messaging me about the map. Hey, shout out to the people that buy the map. Buy a map, guys. My turn. Uh, sure. You got a strong energy, which is kind of what I wanted. Uh, so I guess, but I need another one. You know what I mean? Sound lab. I don't really care about. Let's play Karina. Primal Groudon and Computer Search does what for me exactly? I already attach a strong energy for the turn. Um, I can get a Seeker. I don't know. Focus Sash could be good here, just to prevent my Groudon from dying this turn. But I don't really think I don't really see the the need for it. What I need is an energy, right? But I need another strong energy. I don't know. If I get Seeker, that gets me a strong energy, but with Karina. But then again, but like, uh, I don't know. 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 Uh, I need another strong energy at some point. So I think I'll do that just to force him to play N or something. But I want to Primal. I want to play Wishful Baton. And yeah. We'll stick with this. The forces them attach way more energies as well. So next turn, if I if I play my computer search to get my primal uh, to get my strong energy, I will get a knockout. And I have Guzma as well, so I should be okay. The thing is though, I don't want to Guzma. I was in Guzma. He can't Guzma me. <laughs> uh, it always feels good when people do that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 16, 24, that's too much damage. I need to Oko this thing. This is where, like, oh, man, it's awkward. He's going to set up another potential Gardevoir, which is awkward as well. I can E-hammer the DC off that one at the very least. I think I have to let him knock out my Groudon. Ooh, escape rope's perfect, actually. We can escape rope. 
We can hold on, hold on. Escape. Oh, but that's escape. I can't escape from Guzma. Can I? No, I can't. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Cause then he comes in and knocks me out, which is not what I want to see. <sighs> How do I do this? Because if I escape rope, he'll go into any of his Pokemon, then I Guzma that I don't have a free retreater on the bench, and now I'm sad again. So it doesn't really accomplish anything. The only thing I want to do is knock out this Guardi. So the only thing I really can do is let him knock out my Groudon, so I can knock out that Guardi. That's sad. Oh well. We'll move on. I'll just pass. I can't do anything. We'll keep it that way. I could have computer searched that turn, but like, whatever. He's running low on cards as well. Uh, that's a problem that he's setting up the other Gardevoir. How many Faringes does men play? Holy crap. He's already lost. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. He hasn't lost any Faringes, to be honest. But like, still, it's a little bit insane. So he's gonna knock us out, we get to knock him out, and uh, I guess he could potentially knock me out next turn, but I can't really do anything about that, so um, that's sad. Topped again? Hey, I'll take it. I have an end down here, right? Nice. Um, oh, computer search first. I'll drop escape rope and center lady. And I'll give my strong energy so I get a knockout. And hopefully he can't knock me out in return. If I, I wish I had focus ash right now instead of wishful baton. I will play the N. That way he doesn't have like seven cards in his hand to start his turn. He can potentially get it, but now it's like, he can potentially get a lot more cards off Octillery, but at the very least, it's not as likely. If I had Field Blower right now, that'd be clean. Finally have you and you. I don't think there's another Prime uh, Groudon. Yeah, there's not. I have to get it off the prizes here. But if I do, it's going to be clean, especially if he can't knock me out. So I get a knockout right now. Please get a grout on. Nope. Nope. That sucks. I couldn't even spam Hex Maniac when I wanted to either. I wish he'd play Field Blower. But he can't because I'm a grout on, so it doesn't even matter. And he got the DCE. So that's going to be pretty much game, guys. I can't bounce back from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Yeah, that's a knockout. Well played. We're gonna go ahead and scoop it up because I can't win. Once he knocks me out, it's, it's over. Yep. If I had another Groudon down, it'd be different. But I didn't think that I'd, I have such a hard time with that. But, <clears throat> but that's gonna be the video, guys. There's definitely some changes I want to make to the deck, and once again, like I've said before, the really experienced and expanded. I want to play a one of or maybe a two of Ultra Ball. I want to take out cards that are not super useful. Uh, maybe I can take out a Salt Vest. I want to keep the Stadium count high though, since you know Stadiums are kind of important for getting knockouts. I can take out one of you, I can take out one Energy, and play two of Ultra Ball this way. That way I have good cards I can draw into. And it's just for like hand thinning and getting and getting the uh, Wobba Fits. I don't really see people playing Ultra Ball, but I don't, maybe I'm just going about this wrong. I have to give these away soon. It's almost that time of the almost that time. Give those away since we already hit 25k or 2.5k. I mean, uh, other than that, I really like the way the deck is built. Maybe I can play another Karina. Maybe I can take out the uh, compressor altogether. I can definitely see myself taking out the compressor, but having the one of compressors is good combined with a uh, Mega Turbo and VS Seeker. That's why I want to keep it. These one of, I like the one of tools. I like a lot of the stuff. Mr. Mime, I, I like Mr. Mime in specific matchups, so I, I kinda wanna keep Mr. Mime. I could take out the Carbink since I'm never really using the Carbink. So I can try it like this. There was one matchup where the Carbink came out, came in clutch, but if I'm not using it often enough, I don't really see a point playing it. We can play one more Karina and another Groudon. So we don't, we're not in that situation like we were in that last game. Cause we could have potentially bounced back Maybe. I don't know. But that's going to be the deck list, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the deck. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all the good jazz. Uh, this, is, this is part of the video where I listen to you guys. You guys have been doing really well with commenting, giving me suggestions about stuff, which I really, really appreciate. You guys are really, 
the best. Uh, we'll do a standard video next time. So let me know what deck you want to be playing standard. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards Vikabulu because I've been practicing with it a little bit here and there. I want to make I want to make my deck list pretty decent. Nah, because Vikabulu is not bad. I feel like people are overhyping it. I don't think it's as good as people think it is, but it's pretty it's pretty decent. Um, but regardless, drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, Matt. Peace. <laughs>